welcome back to our channel, Borders Pacific Northwest. We are still in Japan. This is episode three of our series of our nine or ten days here in Japan. I'm starting to lose track. It's great because I'm not working and I just don't know what day it is. <laughs> so we popped out of our Airbnb and went for a short walk to get on a bus and we headed to our favorite store. Well, one of our favorite stores called Don Quixote. It's usually about seven different floors and there's just lots of interesting things to look at. I'm particularly fascinated with the marketing um, and how they package things. I find it very interesting. Um, so yeah, this is us looking around the store. Tony's checking out some items there and we're getting ready to head up to the next floor. I have to show what the bathrooms look like in Japan. Um, they're huge, actually. The stalls are very nice, very large, and of course there's a bidet, which I've grown to love, and when you're doing your business, um, it makes noise, so people can't hear you. So there's like a little radio, not even a radio, I don't know what you call it, but it makes noise. <laughs> sound they're calling it sound here but yeah I thought that would be interesting for y'all to see on the bottom floor of Don Quixote is usually the liquor section it pretty much takes up most of the bottom floor so I just the liquor is actually really cheap here so I was filming and then I got in trouble so I had to stop here you'll see Tony and I trying some new snacks. Um, another thing we like to do when we're in different countries is just go through the grocery store or even a 7-Eleven and try different things. I had no idea what these were when we picked them up. At first I'm like, well, maybe it's like a Pop-Tart, but it wasn't, it was so good. It was, this is a blueberry one and I thought maybe it's cream cheese in the middle. I'm not quite sure, but the crackers, it was kind of sweet and savory at the same time. The next one is just literally cream cheese on crackers, um, which was also good. So we sat there and ate quite a few. There was also a chocolate one um, that we picked up. And then I think I'm going to bring some home um, so some of the family can try them. I have no idea what the name of it is because I don't read Japanese. Um, but I might ask Quinn. Maybe he'll give me a scoop on <laughs> what the packaging actually says on there. would be interesting to know. But yeah, really good. Fun to pick up different things. Tony keeps getting different kinds of candy too, which I'm trying to stay away from. So the next thing we did is we wanted to go find Pepper Lunch, which is a place we love to eat at when we're in Japan. It's one of Tony's favorites, steak, rice, and corn. So you can't go wrong there. So we had to take a couple of trains. I think we took a bus and two trains um, to a different part of the area where we're staying um, to find this Pepper Lunch. So um, yeah. We made our way there and I shared because it's very large portions, but oh my gosh, you'll see in a minute, it looks fantastic.
So we went home to rest for a while before meeting up with Quinn later um, at his house where he fixed us dinner. You can see some of the cute sweets, um, pastries and things. We picked up a couple of cream puffs uh, for dessert after dinner. And there you can see nabe, um, the dish that Hina and Quinn prepared for us. It's uh, mostly vegetables and some beef in there. And, and they set the table. It was so cute. We had a fantastic time. Thanks for watching. It's been great sharing our adventures with you. We still haven't made it to the Cat Cafe. We plan on doing that later this week. We're also going to be visiting a Japanese car importer. Some interesting things to tell you about that and some fun, exciting things that we're dabbling in. And then we plan on going maybe to Shinjuku one night with Quinn before he, before we go back to America. So yeah, we got a few more things to share with you. So thanks for watching.